Hey Seminole family, thanks for joining me today for another video devotion. Today I want to talk to you about surrendering your future. Surrender means leaving the future to God. You decide that no matter what happens during this difficult season we're going through, you're going to live for God and you're going to trust Him with your future. You decide not to waste today worrying about tomorrow. You decide not to side with the left or the right. You decide to side with God. His way, not your way. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, one of my favorite verses says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. He says, if I choose to trust in the Lord and I don't listen to what I think is best, but I listen to what God thinks is best and acknowledge him in every area of my life, my career, my family, every area of my life. And if I say, this is your area, Lord, he says he'll show you which path to take. He will keep you on the right path. May not be the easy path, but it's the right path, the fulfilling path, the path that leads to peace in Christ. Nancy and I call it the grace path. Many people don't know where the Lord is leading them for the future. But the truth is, He doesn't want to keep it a secret from you. He will lead you if you surrender every area of your life over to Him. You won't know every step, but He will lead you in the right direction. That verse says, don't depend on your own understanding especially in this kind of a season. COVID is beyond our understanding, clearly. The future is beyond our understanding. So don't depend on your own understanding. Surrender your future to God. What area of your life is not surrendered to God? Surrender is holding up the white flag and saying, God, the war's off. I'm not gonna fight you anymore. I want your peace, not stress. Luke 14.33 says, So you cannot become my disciple without giving up everything you own. When you come to Jesus, you give up everything that you've got. And then you've never had it so good. Yeah, you give it all up. Whatever is number one in your life, that's what you give up. But notice the benefit. Jesus also said this in Mark chapter 10, verse 29 and 30. Yes, Jesus replied, and I assure you that everyone who has given up anything for my sake and for the good news will receive now in return a hundred times over. And in the world to come, that person will have eternal life. God says, whatever you give up, I'm going to restore it a hundredfold in your life. By the way, do you know what a hundredfold is? Do you know what that interest rate is? It's 10,000% interest. I highly recommend you give it all to God because he will restore it and he will multiply it. And he says, I'm going to restore it a hundredfold in your life. Surrender to God and you will find peace and fulfillment. As your pastor this week, I'm going to be praying for you. I hope you have a great day. I love you.